And I'm surprised that it's actually not a bigger story. Um, it appeared in one paper across the weekend. And I'm really quite surprised that no one else has picked it up. This is our money being used by organizations who purport to support migrants, especially in the, in the uh, view of refugee action. Well, actually, they're lobbying against the government. And, and can I just ask, how on earth does this happen? Because the government, you know, enacts a policy. OK, look, we can we can argue till the cows come home about whether or not this is actually going to work. But the fact is they've they've put a policy in place and now at the same time allowing taxpayers to fund the desecration of that policy. That is lunacy, isn't it? It is. And I think these organisations need to work out, really, if they are going to be there to support the government in uh, working with refugees and migrants, or they're going to become lobby and pressure groups. Now, if they want to be lobby or pressure groups, then that should be self-funded. They need to go away and they need to look at their own funding. They need to raise that money like other charities do and not take it from the taxpayer. I think that they have a very confused issue about what they're essentially there to do. So undermines the idea that we're a kind of racist little nation, because at the same time, the, the flip side of this, right, is that the taxpayer is paying money to not send people to Rwanda, whether we know about it or not. And so this idea that we're some kind of horrible, intolerant little rock in the middle of the ocean is nuts, isn't it? It is. And we are a very welcoming nation. And I'm extremely proud of what kind of welcome people have given to Ukrainians, uh, to Syrian refugees. And I helped to house a Syrian family in Seven Oaks and extremely proud of what the community pulled together to produce. So to have organisations that suggest that they do one thing, but actually are taking our money to do another is incredibly wrong. The government needs to look at how these organisations are funded and going forward, look at whether they should be funding organisations like this at all.